welcome back to a brand new video. Today I am going to be doing my May TBR. I figured I would do another TBR for you guys because I stuck so well to my um, April TBR. So let's just jump right into it. Alright, so the first book that I will be reading in the month of May will be Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas. Now I've already started this in April, but I do want to finish it. I'm 134 pages in. Um, I'm on chapter 18, so I'm excited to finish. Second book I'm going to be reading is going to be a reread for me, and I'm going to be reading it with my one of my best friends, and that is going to be Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I am, I can't wait to reread this. I love rereading this series every year. As you guys know, it's my favorite series of all time, so I'm super excited um, to be revisiting one of my favorite worlds ever. Next book I want to read is going to be Invaded by Melissa Landers. This is the second book in um, the Alienated series, I guess you would call it. Um, I believe there's going to be a third one. I don't want to tell you guys the synopsis on this one because of spoilers, of course. Next book I'm going to be attempting to read is going to be Dragonfly and Amber by Diana Gabaldon. This is the second book in the Outlander series. Um, I don't know what's going to be happening in this one, so I can't give you a synopsis, but I can't wait to read it. It's going to probably kick off with Claire and Jamie right where it left off in Outlander, so I'm excited to continue. Next few books I have not received yet. I have pre-ordered them, so I'm going to insert a picture in this general vicinity but um the first one's going to be a court of thorns and roses by sarah j moss i heard this is a beauty and the beast retelling so that's one of my favorite disney movies i'm excited to see how she does it it's supposed to be incorporated with Faye in it so i am super excited because i'm already loving her writing um in throne of glass this next one i'm going to be reading is the air by kiara cast this is the fourth book in the supposed trilogy, the selection trilogy, but now it's turned into a series. Um, I'm excited to read this. It's going to be from the point of view of, um, it's going to be in the point of view of America's daughter, so I cannot wait to read it. This next one is going to be An Ember in the Ashes by Sabah Tahir. I cannot wait for this one. This one is one of my most, ante my most anticipated new releases, so I cannot wait to see how good this is. It's going to be a standalone um, fantasy novel. Um, I don't know too much about it because I want to go into a blind. I feel like fantasy novels, it's better that way. And I heard it's already been optioned for a movie and it hasn't even come out. Well, now it's out, but I just have not received mine. So I'm really excited to read that one this month. And the final book is going to be Dream a Little Dream. And this one's going to be by Kirsten Gear. Now, this one, I don't know anything about it, but I do know it's just got translated from German. Um, it's been out in Germany for a while, but we just got it here in the United States. I loved her Precious Stone trilogy, so I'm excited to read more from her. Alright guys, that is all I have planned for the month of May. Um, it might change. It might. I might be able to get through all of them. We will see. But let me know in the comment section below what you plan on reading for May and what book you are looking forward to reading most. For me, I would probably say A Court of Thorns and Roses is going to be my most anticipated for May. Um, like, comment, subscribe, um, share my videos with your friends if you could, um, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Mwah.